Peter Obi, Labour Party votes were transferred to APC, PDP's cause left untouched. Atedo Peter side says, can you imagine? Atedo Peter side actually is a, a senior PDP member in a, in a River State, but currently supporting the Labour Party cause in River State. Okay, so what he is saying is concerning presidential election that actually Peter Obi vote were transferred to APC. Labour Party votes were transferred to APC and the data of the PDP were left untouched. That is what he's saying and he's saying that they have the evidence. We all know what Winke did in uh, in that state using the thugs. Exactly the same behavior of APC thugs in Lagos State is what Winke, though still in PDP, but worked for APC and replicated the same level of thuggery in River State. All the Key areas where P uh, Peter Obi was leading, he sent his thugs to shut those places down, stop the voting, stop the counting, stop the transfer of uh, uh, vote by BVAs, and then held them hostage and forced them to change the numbers. How can we work like that? Now, just um, about two weeks or more, uh, that that was on the on when. Okay, so uh, that was in February 25. All right, so now about three weeks down the line after the election, we are still uh, battling with the irregularities that ensued that day. It is still ongoing. So based on that, uh, Atelo Peter side has come out to say, well, uh, Labour Party votes, that is presidential vote for Peter Obi were given to APC, why the PDP's scores were left untouched. Can you imagine? A foremost economist and founder of ANAP Foundation, Atelo Peter Said, has alleged that the votes belonging to the Labour Party in the just concluded presidential election were transferred to All Progressive Congress APC. A lot of things will be emerging, man. Peter Said, who spoke in an interview with Arise TV on Wednesday, however, said the votes of the People Democratic Party PDP were not tampered. According to him, the, res the results uploaded on the IREF portal of the electoral body shows that INEC may have declared the wrong candidate winner. I have spent time scanning through some result sheets. There is a pattern they used, and that is disturbing. All the examples I showed you were votes of Labour Party transferred to the APC but PDP's vote were left untouched, he said. Hmm. Economists expressed optimism that the judiciary would do a good job by telling Nigerians the true winner of the February 25 presidential election. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is the bad part of the business. Okay, the, the judiciary is not going to do a good job. The judiciary is not going to do a neat job. The judiciary is already in the pocket of the APC and the government of the day. It's a case of he who pays the piper detains the tone. So right now, the the judiciary is dancing to the gallery as presented to them by the APC government. Okay, they have paid all of them, they have bought all of them up, and I don't see them okay going to do a neat job because those guys are not in truly independent. Judiciary is the third arm of government that manages enforcement of laws. Okay, but unfortunately, they are not independent. They are not independent. And the reason being that the presidency appoints all the key judiciary positions in Nigeria. And so that is putting uh, uh, the judiciary in the pocket of the executive, making the judiciary key personnel to be loyal to the executive at all levels. So that is a challenge. It's already a compromised situation. Is a compromised system. So this issue that is cropping up from River State, where Peter Said is saying that the Peter Bill's votes were given to APC, uh, and all of that made up the number that they, that they used to declare uh, Tinubu the winner of the presidential election. Okay. So, but it's quite unfortunate that this is 
even after three weeks after the election, all of the revelations are still coming up from different quarters, but the government is still not looking like they are ready to make anything happen. Irrespective of those irregularities, I next he went and declared Tinubu winner. And Wari came out boldly to say Tinubu's victory still stands. Okay? Anybody that has grievance should go to court. Can you imagine? A court that is inside their pocket. Court that has no respect for anybody. Okay? And on the other side, the same court that issued court order and nobody obeys, especially the ruling class. So when you don't say go to court, it baffles me because justice are not served in Nigerian court. Okay? And uh, there's also a saying now that uh, <laughs> when you catch thief and thief say make you go court, it means say I'm brother, I'm be judge. Now what would they see for, for Nigeria with that? Okay? So it's quite unfortunate that all of these malpractices were done against just Peter Obi because that day, one thing was very clear. When they finished voting, they found out that they were able to transmit the Senate and House of Rep vote from the polling unit straight to the server. But that of presidency, they said it didn't go, they didn't transmit that. But it's the same BVS machine, it's the same server, it's the same network. So what happened? What has changed? Or what changed then? You know? So, but unfortunately, nobody's asking all those, all those questions again. The irregularities are so much that everybody is, is aware that Peter will be won that election, but they, they didn't want to declare Peter will be winner because one, APC want to retain power by force, two, Tinubu is saying it's his turn in Miloko, and three, they, they, they don't want Igboma to smell the office of the presidency in this country. And that is why the Yorubas are joining hands with the Aousas to annihilate the Igbos, mm. to incapacitate mm. the Igbos, to finish them so that they don't get to be part of the presidency. But that is very bad. I wonder how long that will continue in this country. How can all other tribes hate one particular tribe with passion? That they, if they have their way, they will do ethnic cleansing because that's exactly what the Fulani started, using the military, using the henchmen, okay, to cause annihilation, to cause ethnic cleansing in Igbo land, to kill them and to kill them. Just the same way Peter B, uh, what is his name, uh, Mwike University did not like Peter B to be president. He doesn't want Igbo man to be president. And he has, and basically because he himself was in PDP and lost the presidential ticket. So everyone, everything is injustice to him and he doesn't want any other person. Uh, fortunately, Peter B has to be an offshoot of PDP and happened to be an Igbo man. Okay, uh, so they don't, the River State people actually don't like Igbos before now, especially the queries. They don't like Igbos before now. So, with all of these irregularities we are seeing, they still went ahead and declared Tinubu winner. So, what Atedo Peter side is still saying here is that the, all the votes that Peter B got in River State, they, used, they transferred all of them to Tinubu in APC, and those were the data they used in declaring Tinubu the winner of the election. Quite unfortunate. All right. I know that Apedo, Atedo Peter Sai said they have the evidence. And I'm sure when the time comes, all of that will come up. So thank you for listening. Please have your comment.